Numbers, Chapter 1 In the second year after the Israelites' departure from the land of Egypt, on the first day of the second month, the Lord said to Moses at the tent of meeting in the wilderness of Sinai, Take a census of the whole community of the Israelites, by clans and ancestral houses, registering by name each male individually. You and Aaron shall enroll in companies all the men in Israel of twenty years or more who are fit for military service. With you there shall be a man from each tribe, each the head of his ancestral house. These are the names of those who are to assist you. From Reuben, Eliezer, son of Shadawar. From Simeon, Shalumiel, son of Zurishadai. From Judah, Nashan, son of Aminadab. From Issachar, Nethanel, son of Zuar. From Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon. For the descendants of Joseph, from Ephraim, Elishema, son of Amahud, and from Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Pedazur, from Benjamin, Abidon, son of Gideon, from Dan, Ahiazer, son of Amashadai, from Asher, Pagiel, son of Akron, from Gad, Eliasaph, son of Ruel, from Naphtali, Ahira, son of Anon. These were the elect of the community, leaders of their ancestral tribes, heads of the clans of Israel. So Moses and Aaron took these men who had been designated by name and assembled the whole community on the first day of the second month. Every man of twenty years or more then registered individually his name and lineage according to clan in ancestral house, as the Lord had commanded Moses. So he enrolled them in the wilderness of Sinai. Of the descendants of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, registered individually by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service. Those enrolled from the tribe of Reuben were 46,500. Of the descendants of Simeon, registered individually by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of 20 years or more, everyone fit for military service, those enrolled from the tribe of Simeon were 59,300. Of the descendants of Gad, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, Every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service, those enrolled from the tribe of Gad were forty five thousand six hundred and fifty. Of the descendants of Judah, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service, those enrolled from the tribe of Judah were 74,600. Of the descendants of Issachar, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of 20 years or more, everyone fit for military service. Those enrolled from the tribe of Issachar were 54,400. Of the descendants of Zebulun, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service. Those enrolled from the tribe of Zebulun were 57,400. Of the descendants of Joseph, of the descendants of Ephraim, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service. Those enrolled from the tribe of Ephraim were 40,500. Of the descendants of Manasseh, 
registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service. Those enrolled from the tribe of Manasseh were 32,200. Of the descendants of Benjamin, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service, those enrolled from the tribe of Benjamin were 35,400. Of the descendants of Dan, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service. Those enrolled from the tribe of Dan were 62,700. Of the descendants of Asher, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of twenty years or more, everyone fit for military service, those enrolled from the tribe of Asher were 41,500. Of the descendants of Naphtali, registered by name and lineage according to their clans and ancestral houses, every male of 20 years or more, everyone fit for military service, those enrolled from the tribe of Naphtali were 53,400. It was these who were enrolled, each according to his ancestral house, by Moses and Aaron and the twelve leaders of Israel. The total enrollment of the Israelites of twenty years or more, according to their ancestral houses, everyone fit for military service in Israel. The total enrollment was 603,550. Now the Levites were not enrolled by their ancestral tribe with the others, for the Lord had told Moses, The tribe of Levi alone you shall not enroll, nor include in the census along with the other Israelites. You are to give the Levites charge of the tabernacle of the covenant with all its equipment and all that belongs to it. It is they who shall carry the tabernacle with all its equipment and who shall be its ministers and they shall camp all around the tabernacle. When the tabernacle is to move on, the Levites shall take it down. When the tabernacle is to be pitched, it is the Levites who shall set it up. Any unauthorized person who comes near it shall be put to death. The other Israelites shall camp according to their companies, each in their own divisional camps. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the covenant to ensure that God's wrath will not fall upon the Israelite community. The Levites shall keep guard over the tabernacle of the covenant. The Israelites complied. They did just as the Lord had commanded Moses.